The Bear, Season 2, Episode 4, Thoughts. This episode is called Honeydew, another episode I love. Spoilers for this episode and the ones leading up to it. Before I get into it, the top link in the description box leads you to a site where you can donate to the SAG After Strikers. And then there are a number of links that help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive in. So, yeah, um, love the the board opening with just, like, yeah, things getting worse and worse. Just, yeah. And, yeah, so Sugar explains that apparently now that they're filing for a second name, it's a problem that they were never filed for a first name. So the IRS think they're assholes. And, you know, she's trying to only tell Carmi that she's pregnant. But the wall fell. I, I saw that. Thank you. <laughs> so everyone hears. And, you know, someone like, congratulations. And Richie... Being Richie goes, I fucking knew it. There was way too little Richie in this episode. It was great when he kept insisting, it's not going to pop, it's not going to pop. And then it pops. And yeah, so Marcus, you know, says to his mother that he's, he's going traveling. And yeah, I appreciate it. Like, they actually did, you know... So, the, yeah, he goes to Denmark, I'm from and currently reside in Denmark, and yeah, um, the, um, let's see, what was his name again, uh, 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 Chester, you know, says, like, two words, and, you know, not perfect pronunciation, but, you know, yeah, he's, he's right about what those words mean. And it's, it's fair enough. Our language is very different, difficult to learn if you don't grow up speaking it. But, but yeah, you know, they actually, they filmed a bunch of stuff here in Denmark. You know, I recognize some of our, you know, national monuments and, and such. Yes, we too have, I forget, it's not called Big Ben here. I forget what it's called. Um, oh, I think, ah, uh, City, City Hall Clock, I guess it would be. Well, who's, well, I think it's something like that. Wow, it's been years since I actually thought about that. Um, that's in Copenhagen. I don't live in Copenhagen. But yeah, the the um, we too have a very big clock. And <laughs> so I like that, you know, Luca, you know, Will Poulter, I'm... I'm I haven't seen him in very much, but I've liked him each time, including here. Uh, what was the thing that I saw him in? Oh, right, right. Uh, he's Adam Warlock in Guardians 3. Yeah, he was, he was really great there. And I'd like to see him in more. I've heard good things about other stuff he's in. Uh, you know, he, he asks, uh, you know, do, so do you know how to make that? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then he's, like, Googling it and, you know... Chef Luca could tell, so he brings him a recipe and on like um, po post-it notes or something like that, you know. And you know, yeah, Marcus looks at the the Google results and like, what the fuck's Dextrose, dude? Dextrose Morgan from the show Dextrose ran eight seasons, and. Yeah, so we we get some more stuff with some more montage of Sydney trying to hire. I don't think I said it last time they they did the you know they didn't do it much here, but last in in a previous episode when she was like trying to hire people, there was this really obnoxious joke where like you know I'm not gonna like. I realize it's not the only time that the show, you know, sometimes the show gets very, like, simplistic and, and kind of dumb with its its humor, you know. A toilet did explode in an earlier episode, so I'm not saying it's like, oh, 
you know, only that, but again, keeping in mind, I overall really love the show. But they did this obnoxious, like, anti-millennial joke where, like, there's this young person who's like, you know, I can't work on those specific days, or I can't work full-time, something like that. And it's like, I don't need everything I'm watching to be the most progressive, but, like, we're literally right now looking at, like, finally, the, the, um, there's a little bit happening to, to, you know, we're, we're seeing some unionization, we're seeing some improvement of, you know, workers, that's better, um, workers' rights, but it's still a really uphill battle. There's still a lot of, you know, companies that don't want to treat their workers humanely. And for a show like this, you know, no, no, it's just, yeah, not a, not a fan. I, I really don't think that's the kind of thing we, we need, you know, yeah. I uh, can't help but notice that Chef Luca, and I realize, you know, part of his backstory is he's from London. Prominent character in Denmark. You couldn't hire a Danish actor. Like, we have English-speaking, talented, you know, internationally known actors. You know, I, I realize Mads Mikkelsen, Mads Mikkelsen is probably not quite the right age range same for Nikolai Costa Veldau. Let's see who else would be Ray Thompson, also a little, maybe a little too old for. But you know, I I don't know enough about like young Danish actors. But you know, we do learn English in in school here. He he might have an accent, but if he's portraying a, a Dane, and yeah. But yes, we do have some, uh, you know, here in Denmark, we do have some people working here that are from other countries. And I do appreciate the acknowledgement that we do have phenomenal desserts, uh, you know. And let's see. Yeah, you know, like we, we have, uh, what, what's the word in English? Foodie. We're, we're a country of foodies, you know, um, which is good because we also eat a lot, which I, I'd like to think that the foodie part came first and then we started eating a lot because the food was just too good to not eat a lot. Honestly, though, it's probably like, you know, if you go back, I don't know, maybe a hundred years or more. You know, you did have a bunch of people who could not get enough to eat. And today, thankfully, you know, we do we do have some people who struggle to, to get enough, but a lot of people are able to, to eat, you know, yeah, eat until you're you're full. And yeah, some some people in part to just like celebrate and appreciate that, you know, it's yeah, we, we have a culture of eating probably more than we should. Now, the cyclist, uh, let's see. Okay, based on his name, it seems like he is Danish. Um, he's appeared in Danish movie. Or wait, no, TV stuff. But yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, it seems like he might actually be Danish. So, so yeah, I, I appreciate that they did do that. And, yeah, you know, it was a nice scene. Marcus helping out this Dane who, you know, I just want to put forward, not all of us are that bad at, at bicycling. No, I'm just kidding. Everyone can, you know, get in an accident and just... I appreciate it, you know, he doesn't say very much, he, he asks for help, which, actually, I guess, is it because, oh, actually, yeah, I guess, no, yeah, the word he keeps saying, yelp, 
that is how we say help. You know, it's it's slightly mm, harder to pronounce than help, which I think is how we check if someone had like a concussion or something. If they can pronounce yelp, they might not need as immediate, uh, you know, medical assistance. And you know, he gives Marcus a big hug as you know to to thank him after, and then gets back on his bike. Yeah, that's very Danish. That's. Um, yeah, maybe they just like randomly hit on that. I'm sure you know we're not the only country that's like, but that sounds like some they they might have actually like talked to Danish people and and you know explained. Okay, so we need a we need a scene where this car character Marcus helps a Danish person. You know what would be a way for a Danish person to get into an accident? how would they react after being helped, these kinds of things. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Like, he's not, you know, he's, like, immediately after, he's not, like, verbally effusive. You know, he's not like, oh my god, I thought I was gonna die, thank you so much. No, you know, big old hug, turns around, gets on the bike, keeps driving. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. Um, that's 100% credible for, for, how a Danish person would react in that exact circumstance. Um, we're known to hug. We're we're uh, somewhat more n not all of us, but a number of us are somewhat more. What's the word? Physically. Ah, crap! What's the word? Yeah, you know, we we express fondness physically and right I, I like when when you know there's apparently you know bad signal which I just want to make clear that's not like a Danish thing you know my my internet no problems at all so but that is it maybe a distance thing anyway uh, I could imagine that yeah but but you know the thing with uh, you know, Sydney apparently like freezes, and then she reveals, oh, she was just pretending, uh, you know. And you know, Mark is like, ah, just, you play too much. Now you know how Chester felt when you pretended you forgot your fucking passport at the last minute, you know. Just, but that was also funny. I think that might be right. Um, Chester's right. IKEA is Swedish, you know. We do have IKEA shops here, but it's not like our thing, you know. So just, yeah, you know, no, nobody likes to be miss, you know, like, you know, imagine, imagine if like a Dane met an American and was like, America, you're the ones with the 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 moose and the 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 syrup and and you know, like just you know. It's not difficult to find out what we're about. And desserts is one of those things. I love Danish desserts. And yeah, that is it for this one. So catch you sometime next week. Um, I don't really have a sign off for this. Let's see. Corner behind Yes Chef.